Hi everyone, this is Connie Chapman and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to drag and drop a slideshow presentation into a Collaborate session. Um, this method is, is outlined in the D2L tutorials on the front page of D2L uh, in the Collaborate session section. But let me just demonstrate it for you. I find it to be the easiest way to load a PowerPoint into D2L. Okay, so on several occasions um, throughout your program you're going to be asked to present um, to your classmates or to the, you know, to the class and so forth. Sometimes you'll be the one facilitating um, the Collaborate session. So to drag and drop a presentation slide, that's just one slide, you just simply make sure that your folder with the slide that you're going to need or the slides is up and open on your desktop. So you can see it here. Make sure your Collaborate window is small enough that you can see both. You're going to go ahead um, you notice the whiteboard uh, icons up here for writing on the whiteboard, application sharing, and the web tour, which is just taking people on wherever you go on the web. Those are right there. So you're going to go ahead and grab your slide and just drag it over and drop it right next to the web share icon. Sometimes it'll bounce right back to your folder and won't load. If that happens, you just go ahead and drag it again. Um, in this case, it, it went on the first time. Also remember that the other participants in the room may not be able to see the slide as quickly as you do. So you're going to want to go over to your talk button, get on and say, can everybody see my slide? If so, give me a happy face. And then they'll signal to you by using one of the icons that they can, in fact, see your slide. So right before it loads, there's a deadly pause. And you get a little anxious because all you see is gray. But that just means it's about to load. There it is. Now, this is a slide that I used in a session I recently um, facilitated. Um, so basically, down here, as soon as you load one slide, the Page Explorer will appear. And it's how you will navigate from slide to slide. See these arrows right here? There, there are usually arrows up here as well and probably are there on a PC. So if you don't see... Uh, if you don't see this page explorer, you're probably going to have these same arrows right up here on the, on the PC. So to load a 10-page PowerPoint, you do the same thing. It's a full uh, PowerPoint. You're going to drag it, drop it right next to the web share. Oop, it bounced back. And you just go ahead and be stubborn. And there it goes. Now a 10-page PowerPoint will take a little bit longer. So if you're presenting to the class, make sure that you get on early enough. Um, to load it. Um, in some cases, the professors will, will ask for those in advance and load them for you, but I've had several incidences where I was supposed to load it myself, so um, you just have to be patient. Now, uh, while we're waiting for that, over here is a sample Keynote. If you have Mac, you know that Keynote is a presentation software put out by Mac. So and by Apple. So a, here's a sample keynote slide. It loads exactly the same way except it takes you through one more step where you just have to click OK for it to, to load because it converts it. Um, on the keynote you're going to want to save it as images um, and there's directions for that in D2L as well. So here you have it. Um, you can see it and again you would ask the other participants to make sure that they can all see and once you have verified that they can you can navigate from slide to slide using these arrows. You can go backwards and forwards. So clicking the arrow forward and back. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how the sample keynote slide loads because it, it looks a little bit different. And this is a keynote software. Drag it and drop it. And it says import pages as individual pages. And you would click load. But you would do the same thing if it was a 10 page slide so, slideshow. So here's going to load, um, but remember, before you upload to Collaborate, you need to save a copy of your keynote as images. And it's very intuitive, so when you just do save as, it will prompt you. And there it is. So that's my tutorial on drag and drop slideshow presentations into Collaborate sessions. Good luck. You're going to be doing this a lot. Signing off.